exclusive contract novel from Falu Novel Network. Let You Live Stream Legal Education, How Did It Become a Crime Teaching? Luo Fong traveled to a parallel world and became a legal education anchor. However, the art style in the live broadcast room doesn't seem quite right. Netizen Lawyer Luo, is it considered theft if I steal the Dragon Kingdom cultural relics from the British Museum back to China? Luo Fong How can you call it stealing when you take back your own things from a small thief? Not only is it not illegal, but also makes great contributions. Netizen Lawyer Luo, is it reasonable and legal for me to open a Eam store and provide services using inflatable dolls? Luo Fong Reasonable and legal. But your idea is not very good, I'll give you a good idea. Netizen Lawyer Luo, can I go and burn down the Jean State Shrine? Luo Fong Go. Go now. The country encourages you, and the people support you. By the way, for safety reasons, I'll give you a trick netizen. Lawyer Luo, I don't like Xiao Hei. Can I get rid of him? Luo Feng. In theory, it's not possible, but I have one note as Luo Feng's answer became more and more contradictory Fei Lu and Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Anchor, My One-Year-Old Dog Brings One You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Dragon Kingdom, Magic City Changsheng Law Firm Ah, if it doesn't open again, this law firm may not be able to continue operating. Within the law firm, Luo Feng's face was slightly gloomy. He didn't expect to face bankruptcy crisis just as he had just crossed over. He is a traveler. Just now, when Luo Feng woke up, he found himself crossing into a parallel world. And he became the chief lawyer and owner of a law firm. Due to being a soul-piercing experience, the memories of the original owner blend perfectly with him. So, even if Luo Feng in his previous life had no understanding of the law, now he is also a well-deserved professional legal advisor, equivalent to wasting decades of hard work and hard work from his original owner. This identity is actually quite good. As a sole proprietorship lawyer, one should not be exposed to the wind or sun. Sitting in the office can earn money, which is undoubtedly a profession that many people envy. Just. Due to the poor management of the original owner and a lack of publicity. As a result, the law firm has been operating for nearly half a year, but its performance has been minimal. It's not that the original owner's professional skills are not good, but rather that they lack popularity. You should know that the profession of lawyers places the greatest emphasis on reputation and credibility. You are a mixed brand lawyer who has never won a lawsuit, so it is impossible for anyone to consult you. But even if you are a very professional lawyer who has never lost a lawsuit and lacks popularity, it is still impossible for anyone to seek your advice. Why? Because they can't even find you. Now, Luo Phone belongs to the second situation. No, no, we need to find a way. Luo Feng began to ponder. What he lacks now is not professional ability, but fame. The law firm has been open for half a year and although it has only handled three lawsuits, the winning rate is 100%. It can be seen that the original owner's professional ability is not poor. Poor, just to show more people the existence of this law firm. How about? Let's start live streaming. Now that the internet is so developed, isn't it a good way to promote a live legal consultation? Just do it this way. Luo Feng came up with an idea and immediately made a decision. Live streaming is not complicated. With the development of the internet becoming more convenient. Nowadays, anyone who knows how to play on their mobile phone can easily start live streaming. After half an hour of tinkering with applying for a live streaming account and a live streaming room, Luo Feng successfully completed the pre-transaction. Later, Luo Feng set the title of the live broadcast room to 100% winning gold medal lawyer, free live consultation, 
always answer any questions. This title is undoubtedly full of gimmicks. A lawyer with a 100% success rate may not even exist in the market. Of course, Luo Fong did not commit any fraud. We won all three lawsuits. Although this game, this winning rate, cannot be achieved in a certain honor. But can you just say it's a 100% win rate? After writing the title, Luo Fong adjusted the camera angle slightly. Until the camera could illuminate his beauty without blind spots, Luo Fong finally clicked on the live broadcast with satisfaction. In theory, a pure and cute new anchor like Luo Fong who has no fans, no works, and no likes. Most likely, no one will be watching. But Luo Feng's title has a bright spot. This easily controversial title. Often the most attractive topic for discussion among netizens. The fact is the same. Luo Feng will be broadcasting for a few minutes. In the live broadcast room, more than a dozen quirky netizens gradually entered. Lawyer. 100% win rate. What a joke. Do you think you're Bao Zheng? Please, can the title not be confused? What is the concept of a 100% lawyer? To put it bluntly, even if you have a serial killer, you can be acquitted. Is this possible? The title party is unquestionable, this is probably the bad lawyer who started to deceive and deceive again. Bad lawyer. I even suspect he's not a lawyer at all, otherwise it wouldn't be possible to make any headlines about cerebral palsy. But to be honest, this live broadcast is quite cool. Little brother, what can I do to add green bubbles? Dot. Dozens of netizens in the live broadcast room. Just the live broadcast title of Luo Fong. A heated debate ensued. Luo Fong didn't care about this either. But instead, he started introducing himself and said, Hello, new friends. I am the chief lawyer of the Magic City Changsheng Law Firm. I didn't randomly mention the title of this live broadcast room. Our law firm has handled a total of three cases since its establishment, and all of them have won. So, as of now, our law firm's winning rate is 100%, which is recorded and won't deceive anyone. I am a professional lawyer, and although I have not been in the industry for long, I am still quite familiar with laws and regulations. If you have any disputes or difficulties, you can now contact me for free consultation. Luo Feng smiled and spoke concisely, giving himself a small promotion. Although there are only about 10 people in the live broadcast room. But for Luo Feng, who has only received three clients in six months, it is not a shortage at all. Pushi with a 100% win rate in three lawsuits. Can this also be used to show off? I'm really laughing to death. But speaking of which, what the little brother said is not wrong. He won all three lawsuits, at least a little less, but it's just a 100% win rate. Indeed, looking at the anchor's speech, it's clear and every sentence is on the point, it really looks like a professional lawyer. If you don't understand, ask the anchor. My mother pig dug out of the pigsty a few days ago and stayed up all night. The next day, when she found it, she found out she was pregnant. Is this considered rape or an affair? Ha ha ha, what's upstairs? I don't know. All I know is that you almost got bird stolen. Anchor, my dog is only one year old, but a few days ago he brought me a mother dog home. Is this considered early love? Goose, goose, goose. This barrage area is a pure talent market. Dot. After Luo Feng successfully proved himself to be a lawyer. A large number of viewers began to joke in the barrage area. Obviously, they did not take live legal consultation seriously. If you have any questions, you can chat on the microphone. Luo Feng didn't care at all about the smoke in the barrage area. If you speak in the barrage area, you don't have a comprehensive understanding, and it's difficult for the anchor to make a conclusion. As soon as Luo Feng said this. In an instant, there were several more users in the Lianmai area who applied for Lianmai. But Luo Feng doesn't have to think about it to know. 
these people are likely to come up to fix things. But in fact, compared to normal legal consultation, Luo Feng is more willing to do these hourly tasks. After all, this is live streaming promotion. What is the most important thing about live streaming? It must be entertainment, entertainment, and program effects. Most netizens watch live broadcasts for fun. If you are serious about consulting, no one will actually read it. So Luo Phone doesn't mind these viewers going to the microphone to do the whole thing. Clicking on the list of connected microphones directly connected to the first netizens, Sweet Sister One, connected microphone. Hello, Anchor. Soon, a beautiful voice from a young lady rang out in the live broadcast room. I want to inquire about a question that I have always been puzzled about. New book set sale, easy to stream, funny to stream live articles, seeking various data. As long as there are 1,000 flowers, 100 reviews, 5 monthly tickets, the author stays up all night for 10 updates. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 2. Giant pandas can eat if they want. Not breaking the law. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The little sister's voice is quite sweet. At least it is also a voice actor level presence. This makes the color baskets in the live broadcast room suddenly unable to sit still. Wow, this little sister's voice is so beautiful. It's just my dream voice, I love it. No wonder the internet name is called Sweet Sister One Piece, this voice is so sweet. Brothers, I'll go ahead. I'm sorry, sweet girl. I can't help it. The silly chun, what are you doing? Sister, I actually understand some laws, otherwise. Would you like to consult me offline? Upstairs, you're using this abacus. I've heard it all in the Lingxiao Palace. Dot. The netizens in the live broadcast room are constantly expressing their opinions. Although quite unattractive. But it is undeniable that this has indeed boosted the popularity of the live broadcast room. Since the little sister started taking the week to the present day. The number of online viewers in the live broadcast room has successfully exceeded 100. Sure enough, there were still many people watching the entire program. Luo Feng cleared his throat and responded to Miss, as long as it's a legal issue, you can consult freely. Then I asked. Miss hesitated for a moment, as if organizing the language, and then said, Lawyer Luo, my question is. If I get lost in the wilderness and have been hungry for a month without eating, I will soon be starving. In this case, if I encounter a giant panda, can I eat it? What? 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 Miss, as soon as she said this. The barrage area instantly displays a large number of question marks on the screen. Netizens were all shocked by the little sister's incredible speech. Damn it. Being able to ask such a question, this little sister is really too cruel, it's really torture. Bully. At first, when I heard the little sister's voice, I thought she really had some doubts, but I didn't expect her speech to explode like this. It's okay, little sister. Don't worry about eating. I've tried the bed in the prison for you, it's quite soft. There's also an empty space next to me, maybe. We can still be roommates. Eating giant pandas, this little sister is really unlucky. Giant pandas are national treasures. It's illegal to keep them in captivity, let alone eat them. Why don't you just sit down and wear them? Dot. The little sister asked questions against the sky. Suddenly, the live broadcast room became extremely lively. And for this issue. Netizens can think of the answer with their fingertips. Nonsense, giant pandas are so precious. Is it something of national treasure level that you can eat if you want? Of course not a problem, eat. Feel free to eat. However, just as all the audience was laughing. However, Luo Feng suddenly gave a shocking answer to everyone. Dot. 
Luo Feng's answer made the little sister hesitate for several seconds. Obviously, the amount of information in this answer was too large, and she didn't react for a moment. Isn't a giant panda a national treasure? Eating a national treasure would be illegal, wouldn't it? The little sister asked in confusion. I'll ask you a question. Luo Feng calmly asked, compared to humans, which is more important, a giant panda. People. The little sister was somewhat uncertain and tentatively gave an answer. That's for sure. All laws serve the people, and compared to pandas, of course, humans are more important and noble. Luo Feng's next answer directly refreshed the little sister's three perspectives. If you're really starving to death in the wild, you don't even have to think about it when you see a giant panda. Just go eat it. Stir fry, cook, fry, whatever you want. If you feel cold, no problem. Pull out the panda skin and put it on. If you feel thirsty, no problem. Pour the panda's blood into a bottle and drink while walking. In the face of the law, humans are always the most noble and important. In that situation, seeing pandas eating pandas, seeing golden monkeys eating golden monkeys, and seeing northeast tigers eating northeast tigers. As long as you're trying to survive, there's no problem eating anything except for people. The law won't hold you accountable, why? Because this is called emergency evacuation. What? 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 As soon as Luo Fong said this. A large number of question marks are starting to appear in the live broadcast room. And then boom. The audience in the live broadcast room exploded. I rely on you, I rely on you. I thought the little sister's question was already explosive enough, but I didn't expect. The anchor's answer was even more incredible. Eating panda meat when hungry, drinking panda blood when thirsty, and wearing panda skin when cold. Cowardly. Every word spoken by this anchor is like a person sitting on the bottom of a prison. Don't talk nonsense upstairs, the anchor is talking about specific situations. That's not a problem. The law does serve people, and you're going to die. There's really no problem surviving by eating giant pandas. Ha ha ha. What an emergency shelter. That's absolutely right. Emergency shelter refers to the act of harming the other party's legal interests under unavoidable circumstances. It's called the FAE to protect the other party's legal interests from ongoing dangerous behavior. Eating the meat of a giant panda to survive is an emergency shelter. It's allowed by law. I'm moving, next time I want to eat panda meat, I'll starve for 30 days first, and then go to the zoo for emergency shelter. The suggestion upstairs is good, bring me along when the time comes, dot. The audience in the live broadcast room had no idea. Luo Fong surprisingly gave such a groundbreaking answer. What's even more outrageous is this logic of Luo Fong can still be explained reasonably and legally. It's really amazing. Facing Luo Feng's answer. Miss was silent for a while, and then she burst out laughing. Lawyer Luo, your answer really satisfies me. I have felt all these years of confusion and it has been completely resolved. Upon hearing this, Luo Feng hurriedly said, Madam, I'm just giving you some science to explain how to make a choice in that dangerous situation. I'm not instigating or inducing you to do this. Giant pandas are still very precious. If you really like them, you can go to the zoo to see them on a regular basis. But unless there are specific circumstances, you must not have any plans for giant pandas. Lawyer Luo, you misunderstood. The little sister smiled sweetly and said, What I mean is, thank you for popularizing these things for me, which has broadened my horizons. Don't worry, they cannot do illegal things. Luo Feng finally calmed down and said, That's good. Madam, do you have any further questions? No more, the little sister sweetly said, Lawyer Luo, you are really professional. If I encounter any problems in the future, I will definitely come to you as soon as possible to solve them. Then I won't delay the next brother's consultation. I'll withdraw first, Lawyer Luo. 
Goodbye, the little sister's words were filled with gratitude and admiration. It is not difficult to see that she truly recognizes Luo Feng's professional abilities. If you have any questions, just log in and speak freely. The anchor will answer any questions. After hanging up the little sister's microphone, Luo Feng smiled and said, Let's invite the next netizen to ask a question. New book set sale, easy to stream, funny to stream live articles, seeking various data. As long as there are 1,000 flowers, 100 reviews, 5 monthly tickets, the author stays up all night for 10 updates. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 3. Anchor, I'll go to the British Museum to collect my legacy. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Just a second before by phone planned to continue inviting netizens to join him on the internet. Suddenly shoo. 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 The live broadcast room was suddenly flooded with dazzling gift effects. User, sweet girl sent ten super rockets to the anchor and left a message. Thank you for helping me solve my problems. A small thank you, no respect. Surprisingly, it's the little sister just now. After exiting Lianmai, I turned around and rewarded Luo Feng with ten rockets as a gesture of gratitude. It can be seen from this that Luo Feng's popularization of the law has indeed given Miss a satisfactory answer. After all a rocket is worth 1,000 yuan. Ten rockets cost 10,000 yuan. After the platform draws 50%, Luo Feng can also get 5,000 yuan. This thank that you gift can be said to be generous. The audience in the live broadcast room immediately sighed upon seeing this. Damn it. Little sister is still a wealthy woman. A reward of 10,000 yuan is not something that can be easily obtained. Bully. The anchor only answered one question and earned me a month's salary. Don't be jealous upstairs. This question is only for lawyer Luo. Ordinary people really can't answer such an incredible question, and it's reasonable. At first, I thought lawyer Luo was a scammer, but now it seems. To some extent, he has some skills on him. Nonsense, I don't have any skills on me. Dare to casually say the phrase, giant pandas can eat whatever they want. Dot. Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room was envious of Luo Feng. I couldn't help but start praising Luo Feng's professional knowledge. Luo Feng's whole activity popularization method. Plus the exposure of the little sister's gift. More and more people began to notice and click into Luo Feng's live broadcast room. After the case of eating giant pandas casually, the number of people in Luo Feng's live broadcast room has skyrocketed. At this moment, the number of online viewers has successfully exceeded 1,000, reaching 2,000 plus, just came in, the anchor's title is lawyer with 100% victory. Is this true? Upstairs, this anchor even dares to eat giant pandas. Do you think the 100% win rate is outrageous? What's that? Even giant pandas dare to eat it. Isn't this anchor crazy? Wait for lawyer Luo to come down and watch the replay yourself. You won't be disappointed. Dot. Watching the number of people in the live broadcast room increase. Before the next netizen went to the microphone, Luo Feng quickly made a simple self-introduction. Hello new friends, I am a lawyer from the Changsheng Law Firm. This live broadcast. After a concise and concise self-introduction. Luo Feng doesn't grind his teeth either. Immediately opened the wheat area. Selected the top netizen in the Lianmai area and pulled on the live Lianmai. Hello lawyer Luo, I am your fan. This time I'm on the microphone, it's a little brother with a youthful voice. As soon as the little brother got on the microphone, he excitedly greeted Luo Feng. Handsome guy, this is my new account. How could there be fans? Luo Feng is a bit puzzled. I have never had a live broadcast before. 
How could anyone possibly know themselves? How could there be fans? I am a new fan, and I have fallen in love with you since the case of eating giant pandas casually, just now. The male fan's tone was quite excited. Lawyer Luo, your answer just now was too clever, it fits my taste too well, I really like it. Male fans give Luo Feng a hearty praise when he comes up. This made Luo Feng feel a bit embarrassed. Handsome guy, if you want to praise me, you can do it in the barrage area. We're mainly here for consultation, Luo Feng reminded. Oh, yes. Lawyer Luo, I also have a question that I would like to ask you, the male fan finally remembered the main point listen to the tone of this male fan. Luo Feng knew he must have come up to fix things. But Luo Feng remained calm at all. With professional ability, he can explain any legal issues he touches upon clearly. It's okay, just ask casually, Luo Feng said boldly. Then I'll ask. By the way. Lawyer Luo, please make a statement beforehand. I'm just guessing, not trying to implement it. The male fan took a preventive shot in advance before asking, Lawyer Luo, I recently saw a short drama online called Escape from the British Museum, and after watching it, I was very touched. I have a conjecture that if I go to the British Museum, I will steal the lost Dragon Kingdom cultural relics back to my home country, donate them to the Dragon Kingdom Museum for free, and then surrender to our Dragon Kingdom police station. Will I be convicted of theft like this? What? 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 When male fans say this. The live broadcast room is boiling again. The audience who has already watched the case of eating pandas casually, is still relatively calm. But those new viewers just exploded. Damn it. Young man, you're so brave. You actually want to steal cultural relics from the British Museum. This idea is too cruel. It's so cruel. Bully, bully. Although your ideas are crazy, young man, I have to say that your starting point is not a problem. This question is really tricky. If we steal back the cultural relics of our Dragon Kingdom from Britain, is this really considered illegal? There's no way to answer this kind of question, right? Hee <laughs> hee, upstairs, you underestimate us lawyer Luo too much. Or the saying, pandas dare to eat whatever they want, what else lawyer Luo dare not do? Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room were discussing extensively. New fans are questioning. Old fans are waiting. In front of the live broadcast room. Facing questions from male fans. Okay, I'll answer your question now, Luo Feng replied calmly without any concealment, firstly, your hypothesis is not valid. Because even if you have the ability to infiltrate and steal artifacts from the British Museum, you will never be able to board a plane. Even if you really have the ability to board a flight from Britain to Dragon Country, you won't be able to get off the plane because by the time you go through security, these cultural relics won't be hidden anymore. So, you have no way to independently bring the cultural relics back from Britain to the Dragon Kingdom. From both subjective and objective perspectives, your hypothesis is not valid, so this case cannot be analyzed at the moment. Ah. The male fan was a bit disappointed. Lawyer Luo, do you mean that I can't analyze this idea? Objectively speaking, it's like this, but. Luo Feng suddenly changed his tone and said, if we add some conditions to this case, it can be established and analyzed. Since you've already taken the microphone, I definitely can't let you take away your doubts. I'll help you supplement the conditions and analyze them, remember, these are just assumptions, and we're just discussing a hypothetical case. Whether it's you handsome guy or the audience in the live broadcast room, don't imitate it. New book set sale, easy to stream, funny to stream live articles, seeking various data. As long as there are 1000 flowers, 100 reviews, 5 monthly tickets, the author stays up all night for 10 updates. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 
Chapter 4 I Stole Again What I Stolen You are listening at NovelFull.audio Every word and sentence of Luo Fong. It directly caught the appetite of the audience in the live broadcast room. A large number of viewers began to urge. Lawyer Luo, don't be too narrow. Minded. Quickly talk about what methods can be used to legally bring the lost cultural relics back to the country so that I can steal them. No, I can broaden my horizons. Wow, upstairs, Lawyer Luo has said it's for reference only. Don't take it seriously. Speaking of which, is it really possible to reasonably and legally steal foreign cultural relics that have been lost and returned voluntarily when they leave another country? I don't think it's very likely, Lawyer Luo also said. You can't even bring cultural relics on a plane. How can you return to your home country without taking a plane? Of course, you need to have a special background when I haven't mentioned it. Know from these two words spoken by the anchor, how do I feel that he doesn't seem like a lawyer, but more like a prodigy? Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room began to become suspicious. I know lawyer Luo, please speak up quickly. Male fans are also very anxious. It's like he's really going to take action, just missing a plan. Before that, let me ask you a question. Luo Fong didn't rush to tell, but asked, do you think stealing something that was stolen from a small thief is considered theft? Ah. Lawyer Luo, you are the lawyer. How should I answer that? The male fan didn't expect Luo Fong to ask himself legal questions, but he tentatively replied, I don't think it's considered theft. You're right. Luo Fong nodded. Then finally, the main topic began. Remember this answer first, it will be tested later. Now let's return to the original question, how can you bring this cultural relic back to your country? Firstly, I said that the general method is definitely not feasible. However, if the general method is not feasible, it does not mean that all methods are not feasible. Let's first look at the essence. Is your purpose to return cultural relics? Or, conceptually speaking, is it to submit cultural relics? The male fan let out a hmm. Luo Fong then said, your starting point is good, and it is also beneficial for the country. So, why don't you try to seek help from the country? The male fan was taken aback by the words and said, Lawyer Luo, do you mean? To report to the police. However, the cultural relics now belong to the British Museum. Even if I call the police, they are likely to ask me to return the relics. Otherwise, wouldn't this be Long Guoming's robbery? And, even if the police are willing to help me, the police in Dragon Country cannot go to England to pick me up. Male fans clearly did not understand what Luo Fong meant. I'm asking you to seek help from the country, not to report to the police. Luo Fong explained, the submission of cultural relics is a national matter, but the submission of cultural relics may not only be completed by the police. Other national institutions can also act as agents to collect the submitted cultural relics, such as the local Longwe Embassy. Hiss. As soon as Luo Fong said this, the male fan took a deep breath. He seemed to have some understanding of what Luo Fong wanted to do. Moreover, there's no need for you to say that the cultural relics in your hands were stolen. Ignoring the surprise of the male fans, Luo Fong immediately said, you can say it was picked up by walking, opened a blind box, caught by fishing, and other various means. Anyway, you need to classify it as an unknown cultural relic. According to our country's cultural relics protection law, various inspections are usually carried out on the submitted cultural relics. Do you think the Longwa Embassy abroad can do such inspections? Obviously, it is not possible. If you want to conduct cultural relic testing, the only way is to bring it back to your country. And as a collector of cultural relics, you will naturally be brought back to your country for recognition. Luo Fong narrated word by word. Sentence is logical, orderly, and logical. It's foolish to directly listen to the audience in the live broadcast room. I'll rely on you, 
it seems like there's nothing wrong with what you said. Following this process, it seems like you can really return to China smoothly. After all, cultural relics are in the hands of the embassy, so they are not privately carried, and there is no problem getting on the plane. No, there seems to be a bug here. Lawyer Luo said to define this cultural relic as unowned, but shouldn't this cultural relic belong to the British Museum? How could it be unowned? Let me give a simple example, for example, if an antique is auctioned off by another country, it should be owned. Even if it is submitted, it must be returned. Upstairs, at first glance, you don't understand the law. Our country allows antique trading. When has it been allowed to trade cultural relics? Cultural relics can only belong to the state and are not allowed to be privately occupied by any external forces, even the British Museum. There's nothing wrong with what you said. The reason why we can't recover the artifacts from the British Museum is because it's been too long and there were no clear laws and regulations at the time that prohibit cultural relics from being traded. Therefore, even if the world knows that the artifacts from the British Museum were stolen from our country, they can still be held accountable. Simply put, the British don't want the Green Lotus. Yes, Lawyer Luo's actions are equivalent to returning the cultural relics in the name of the handover to the Dragon Kingdom. The current laws and regulations clearly stipulate that cultural relics can only be owned by the state, so once the cultural relics in the name of the handover are in the hands of our dragon kingdom, Britain has no right to recover them. Damn it! Lawyer Luo is amazing. This kind of loophole drilling method is really a bit too showy, dot. Audiences in the live broadcast room after learning about Luo Feng's clever technique of grafting flowers and trees, everyone began to praise. Bully, Lawyer Luo. The male fan was also shocked. I never thought that in this way, cultural relics could be brought out of Britain in a reasonable and legal way. So, Lawyer Luo, will I be convicted of a crime if I surrender after leaving the UK? Self surrender. Why surrender? Luo Feng showed a very puzzled expression and said, You haven't done anything wrong. You've turned yourself in, haven't you? Not only do you don't have to surrender, but after returning to your home country, you will be able to receive recognition from the country. I won't tell you the specifics, so you won't have any sympathy. Male fan. Dot. Audience in the live broadcast room. Dot. P.S. Seeking data. 1,000 flowers, 100 review tickets, May tickets, any rewards, the author will stay up all night to get 10 chapters. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 5. You live popularize law, you live instigate. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Lawyer Luo, do you mean that this practice is not considered a crime? But after all, I still stole something. Even if I did something good for the Dragon Kingdom, wouldn't the British judge me as a thief? Male fans still have some misunderstandings. Well. Luo Feng thought for a moment and said, according to normal law, the British side will indeed determine you as a thief. And. It's also a serious theft case of major cultural relics. Whisper, as soon as Luo Feng said this. The audience who were listening attentively in the live broadcast room suddenly vented their anger. Everyone began to contemplate. Che, I thought the anchor could really come up with a reasonable and legal solution. After all this trouble, I still have to take responsibility. What's the use of saying so many grandiose words? In the end, we still have to bear legal responsibility. Even if you help your country retrieve cultural relics, you will have to be convicted. This anchor is not good either. Just this. What about a 100% success rate in the lawsuit? This anchor lacks strength. Even giant pandas dare to eat, but they can't even crack down on British thieves. Dot. The live broadcast room was suddenly filled with ridicule. There is so much groundwork ahead. 
They thought that Luo Feng could finally provide a reasonable and legal defense. As a result, he was still convicted of a crime in the end. Why is there so much preparation ahead? Not pure is just talking nonsense. The male fan also felt a bit disappointed upon hearing this. Lawyer Luo, the meaning is. Anyway, this case is a crime, right? Who told you it was a crime? However, Luo Feng's answer exceeded everyone's expectations. Let's define this case. Firstly, what is your starting point? Is it to help our country recover lost cultural relics? Your trigger point is good. Our dragon country has clear legal regulations that cultural relics cannot be owned by individuals or non-state organizations in any form. If discovered, cultural relics can be recovered by any means or form. Although your nature is theft, your starting point and ultimate result are allowed by our country's cultural relics protection law. This not only does not determine you as theft, but also. It will issue you a grand prize for recovering the nature of cultural relics. This is a great achievement, you are a hero. The male fan asked again, for Dragon Country, that's the case, but as you just said, Britain will still accuse me of theft. Well. Why don't you turn your head, kid? Luo Feng scolded the male fan with a smile and said, before this case was determined, we had already discussed. Stealing something stolen from the thief again does not constitute theft. Even if your nature is theft, your starting point and ultimate result have not caused any social property damage, so it does not constitute a crime at all. What if the thief accuses you of something completely non-criminal? What if the thief shouts to catch the thief and slanders you? You can directly take out your ID card from the wallet he stole. So. Even if you don't take action, his face will be immediately slapped. After listening to Luo Feng's words. The male fan suddenly realized. Lawyer Luo, what do you mean? As long as I can bring the cultural relics back to the Dragon Kingdom, even if Britain accuses me of theft, it will not have any impact. Luo Feng nodded and said, the British Museum has illegally stored over 23,000 cultural relics from our Dragon Country. If you really have the ability to take these relics out of the British Museum, and your goal is to return them to Dragon Country free of charge. Take these 23,000 or so cultural relics as you please, pack them in burlap bags, push them with small carts, or pull them with trucks, it doesn't matter. Not only will it not cause theft, but after bringing them back to the Dragon Kingdom, you can also make great contributions and honor your ancestors. Quiet. As soon as Luo Feng said this. A live broadcast room with nearly 5,000 people. At this moment, he fell into a deathly silence. For several seconds, no one sent a barrage. It seems that the audience in front of the screen were all stunned by Luo Feng's final speech. All netizens were just staring blankly at their phone screens. Looking at Luo Feng's face in disbelief on the screen. With an incredibly shocking aftertaste, Luo Feng's speech just now. Take any Dragon Kingdom artifacts from the British Museum. Not committing a crime, and making great achievements. Boom. After a few seconds. The audience in the live broadcast room who finally came to their senses suddenly exploded. A large number of barrage began to flood the live broadcast room. The audience frantically vented their shock by sending barrage comments. I'll rely on you, I'll rely on you. This Nima, Lawyer Luo's speech is simply outrageous. Take any Dragon Kingdom artifacts from the British Museum. It doesn't matter if you pack them in burlap bags, push them with small carts, or pull them with trucks. Ha ha ha. I dare to say so. Nyobi Nyobi. It's the first time I've seen a lawyer who dared to steal the Dragon Kingdom cultural relics from the British Museum so boldly after playing on the internet for so long. Lawyer Luo is really brave. You're right. The cultural relics in the British Museum were originally from our Dragon Country. If we take back what belongs to us, can we call it stealing? Then return it to its rightful owner. 
I used to think it was reasonable to steal cultural relics from the British Museum and return them to the Dragon Kingdom. But I never knew why it was right. After Lawyer Luo's explanation, I directly understood it. What's the most impressive thing? Lawyer Luo not only thought about the defense outcome, but also even designed a way for you to escape. But it's strange, this is clearly legal education. How do I feel? Like teaching a crime, dot. The audience in the live broadcast room was impressed by Luo Feng's courage to speak, clear logic, and quick thinking. I also realized a problem along with it. This is clearly a live broadcast room for legal education. But how does it look, it's more like simulating a crime. In the just discussed case of theft from Britain. Luo Feng not only qualifies this event. Conduct a thorough analysis of this case. Even a reasonable and legal way to escape from Britain has been planned. Not exaggerated. If Luo Feng is now promoting it to the audience in the live broadcast room. How to safely take cultural relics out of the British Museum without being discovered. The live broadcast room had 5,000 viewers, so now we can immediately take a plane to England to steal cultural relics. Is this NEMA promoting law? Are you sure this is not inciting crime? P.S. The data is too poor. The author begged for flowers, evaluation tickets, monthly tickets. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 6 Thank the Suspect for Sending You are listening at NovelFull.audio After listening to Luo Feng's analysis, the male fan also remained silent for a while. He was savoring Luo Feng's previous narration. In fact, he has not only asked Luo Feng this question. In many live broadcast rooms of legal lawyers, he has asked the same question. But facing this problem, have a good temper and I will analyze the reason why this case does not hold and why it does not hold. It's very different from what Luo Feng initially told him about the untenable conditions. If you have a bad temper, just let him go. After all, this topic is too sensitive. Many lawyers are unwilling to mention such cross-border dispute cases. Why? The reason is simple, their professional abilities are limited. Analyzing this case requires strong logical reasoning. Criminals are both great heroes of the Dragon Kingdom and criminals of Britain. For cases like this where the two ends are upside down. Regardless of the right or wrong analysis, it is easy to become biased in the end. Male fans are not actually looking for an answer. After all, he never really thought about going to England to steal cultural relics. He would inquire about this case everywhere. It's just for the sake of survival. In order to expose those anchors who pretend to be lawyers to deceive and deceive. He came to Luo Feng's live broadcast room to ask this question, also for this purpose. But what he didn't expect was. Luo Feng not only analyzed this case with reason, evidence, and organization. And he also pointed out the possible successful means of committing the crime. Let this originally unfounded case be established overnight. And also provided a satisfactory answer for everyone. Lawyer Luo, what you said is really reasonable. The male fan's tone was somewhat excited. After listening to your story, I can't help but want to go to the British Museum to bring back the cultural relics of our dragon country. Upon hearing this, Luo Feng immediately panicked and said, This fan, please calm down. Everything I just said only exists in imagination and cannot be substituted into reality. Not to mention anything else, when you enter the British Museum and come across a cultural relic, you can't leave. So. Don't try this kind of thing. If, I mean if. One day you're really angry and can't resist doing it. Remember, when you're caught, don't say it's me asking you to do it. What? 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 As soon as Luo Feng said this. The live broadcast room was once again flooded with barrage. 
The first half of Luo Feng's sentence was spoken. Everyone thought that Luo Feng was really trying to persuade this fan not to do anything foolish. After listening to the latter half of Luo Feng's sentence, only then can everyone understand. This Nima, Luo Feng is pure and afraid of catching fire. The audience in the live broadcast room couldn't laugh anymore. Ha ha ha, truly a lawyer, with a high level of vigilance. We haven't started yet, so we started getting vaccinated in advance. What kind of preventive shot? This is called emergency evacuation, do you understand? 666, with the professional ability of the lawyer Elijah, even if he is really implicated by then, there are still 10,000 ways to escape. Upstairs, what can't escape without leaving the forehead? This is master leads the door, cultivation is personal. I taught him, what he did has nothing to do with me. Ha ha ha. I'm laughing to death. The learning ability of this generation of netizens is really strong. If we put this understanding ability into our studies, wouldn't we be able to take the Tsinghua University entrance exam? Dot. The male fan was also amused by Luo Feng's words. Don't worry, Lawyer Lu. I am a law about abiding and good citizen and it is definitely impossible for me to engage in illegal activities. That's good, Luo Feng breathed a sigh of relief. Thank you, Lawyer Luo, for your science popularization. If I encounter any trouble in the future and need to file a lawsuit, I will definitely contact Lawyer Luo as soon as possible. After asking my questions, I won't disturb Lawyer Luo. Goodbye. After bidding farewell to each other. The male fan voluntarily disconnected the microphone. Once again, we would like to remind everyone that our live broadcast on legal education is simply to help everyone better understand the law. Luo Fong also reminded the people in the live broadcast room, the law enforcement website is vast and impeccable. Everyone should never think of drilling loopholes in the law, otherwise they may be easily arrested. Even if you successfully drill through a loophole in the law, then. If you successfully drill once, you will definitely not be able to drill again. Even if you drill twice, the third or fourth time, there will always be one time you will be caught. What? 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 As soon as Luo Fong said this. The live broadcast room is filled with a large number of question marks. If you didn't say that, I thought the law really had no loopholes to exploit. But what does it mean? Even if you succeed many times, there will always be one time you will be caught. The meaning is. There are still loopholes to exploit, right? Lawyer Luo, why don't you explain? Your explanation didn't make me respect the law, but rather. It made me even more curious about the loopholes that could be exploited. Ha ha ha. I'm laughing to death, Lawyer Luo said halfway. Suddenly, I remembered that there seemed to be some loopholes that could be exploited. Do you think that Lawyer Luo's ability to say such things represents? That he really knows the blind spots of certain laws? Do you think if Lawyer Luo personally goes to exploit these loopholes, there is no possibility that he will really get away with it? Hiss. Upstairs, when you say this, I think it's very likely. No, no. I'll apply for a microphone connection and go up and ask. Dot. A statement from Luo Fong that he couldn't justify. Make the audience in the live broadcast room aware of one point. If Luo Fong were to commit a crime, there is also no possibility. Can we really achieve perfect crime? Of course, they cannot discuss this issue. I have to apply for Lianmai and ask Luo Fong personally later. Shu. 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 Just as everyone was discussing in the live broadcast room. Suddenly, the dazzling gift effects and another swipe of the live broadcast room. User CEO is not domineering, sent 10 rockets and left a message. Lawyer Luo, I hope to cooperate with you next time. Look at the names of gift giving netizens. The audience recognized it at a glance. This is exactly the gift from the fan of Lianmai just now. Ten more rockets. 
it's another 10,000 yuan. It has been less than an hour since Luo Feng started broadcasting. We have indeed received 20 super rockets. Luo Feng was originally a bit flirtatious. He didn't expect it either. What I said, I couldn't even come back to the scene. It's embarrassing right now. But suddenly I saw the rocket swiping the screen. Luo Feng quickly thanked. Thanks for the rocket sent by the suspect. Dot. Audience in the live broadcast room. Dot. The CEO is not domineering. Dot. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 7. Take a look at your chat records, I. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Luo Feng was already a bit awkward. Coincidentally, I saw an older brother brushing gifts in the live broadcast room. Just thinking about using gratitude gifts to ease the awkwardness. I didn't expect it. Due to being careful and hasty, I suddenly felt drowsy. Pronounce the name of the eldest brother on the list as a wanted criminal. All right, it's even more awkward now. The netizens in the live broadcast room have already gone crazy with laughter. Ha ha ha, lawyer Luo is really good. If someone brushes a gift for you, you will become a wanted criminal directly. CEO brother. I don't know why, so I just gave him a gift and he directly charged me. Lawyer Luo, don't do this, otherwise brother Bang will have to carry the train and run away overnight. The male fan who painted the gift, the president is not overbearing, was even more frightened. Lawyer Luo, don't frighten me. I don't care if people call me a suspect, but you call me. Lawyer Luo, your professional ability, I'm really afraid you will put a charge on me. The male fans trembled with fear. The audience in the live broadcast room didn't take it seriously. CEO, actually it's not that exaggerated. Even if he's a lawyer, he can't easily charge you. Indeed, let alone lawyers, even judges and reviewers cannot accuse you without reason. Don't be afraid, CEO. If you're really afraid, come into my sister's arms and you won't be afraid anymore, wow, I'm scared too. Can I team up with the CEO and get into my sister's arms? Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room completely regarded this matter as a mystery. After all you, as a lawyer, can make small things bigger. But if I don't do anything and just stay at home honestly, what can you do with me? I watched the audience's speeches in the live broadcast room, and I feel like you all seem very arrogant. When Luo Feng saw the audience in the live broadcast room, he didn't have any respect for the lawyer and immediately felt a bit displeased. To be honest, if I really take action, then. At least 70% of the male compatriots in the live broadcast room will be sent in by me. What? 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 As soon as Luo Feng said this. The live broadcast room is flooded with question marks. Lawyer Luo, I admit you have a lot of professional skills. But as an honest ordinary person, I usually lie dead except for commuting. Why do you send me in? Yeah, can I be sentenced for being late to work? Is it difficult for me to be sentenced for harassing male colleagues at work? Is it difficult for me to be sentenced even if I don't flush the toilet? Ha ha ha. The live broadcast room is full of talents. Dot. Facing the danger of Luo Feng. All netizens are confident and fearless. Even speaking provocatively. After all I am just a worker, and besides going to work, I eat and sleep. Struggling to death, it's just going to work to fish and leaving a few minutes early after work. Is fishing illegal? Is leaving early illegal? What are you taking to send me in? It seems that you haven't realized the seriousness of the problem yet. Luo Feng calmly took a sip of water and smiled, All right, let me popularize a crime called hooliganism for everyone. Perhaps many people have not heard of this accusation now, because it was founded during the Cultural Revolution period. 
It mainly targets those hooliganism behaviors in society. At the time of its establishment, this charge was quite vague and outrageous. To put it this way, whenever you were on the street and glanced at a woman more, she could make you a hooliganism crime. Even if you stared at a female portrait or looked at clothing more, it could be classified as a hooliganism crime. Of course, this is not only targeted at men. Female compatriots also have the name hooliganism. During that period, if a woman's clothing was exposed more than one-tenth of the area, it would be judged as hooliganism. Later, due to the harshness of this charge, it has now been abolished. Science Popularization by Luo Fong The large number of viewers in the live broadcast room exclaimed that they had gained more knowledge. They have never heard of such an outrageous accusation before. One more glance at a woman will result in imprisonment. If the exposed area of a woman's clothing exceeds one-tenth, she will be sentenced to imprisonment. It's simply not too futile. Damn it! No wonder women at that time were so conservative in their dressing styles. It turns out. Even wearing less clothes would result in imprisonment. If you take an extra look at a woman on the street, you'll be sentenced. I'll go. If I were in that era, I'm afraid ten lives wouldn't be enough for me to die. I have learned and appreciated Lawyer Luo's popularization of science. Dot. But for another group of netizens. Doubts were quickly raised. I admit that in that era, I might have been sentenced. But this is modern. Lawyer Luo cannot judge me as a citizen of the 21st century on charges from the 20th century. Yeah, Lawyer Luo, you can't take out the past charges and send us in now. Lawyer Luo, your little trick won't deceive us. Dot. Faced with renewed questioning from netizens. Luo Feng just gave a faint smile. Then he said, the crime of hooliganism has indeed been abolished now, but. I don't know if you are aware of it. There is now a charge called the crime of watching obscene materials. Dot. Dot. As soon as Luo Feng said this. The audience in the live broadcast room were all thinking of something. I started to realize something was wrong. Luo Feng continued, the so dot called crime of watching obscene materials, in simple terms. Refers to the small videos and web pages that you use to liven up your craft work late at night. I don't need to elaborate on the specifics, do I? I understand everything I understand. And. With 5,000 viewers in the live broadcast room now, I believe most male compatriots will be charged with this crime if they are prosecuted. Luo Feng looked at the live broadcast room with a smile on his face and said, If this charge is placed during the time of the crime of hooliganism, it will be the biggest charge of being detained and paraded on the streets. Nowadays, the law has become more humane, and this punishment method is definitely not applicable. But. If we reflect on your detention for a few days, the problem should not be significant. As for how to convict you, that's just a simple matter. After flipping through the browsing records, isn't that something that comes out? Every word and sentence of Luo Feng. It seems to be telling an ordinary little thing. Can fall into the ears of some male compatriots in the live broadcast room. But it was as piercing as thunder. Suddenly. The live broadcast room exploded. P.S. Is there anyone else watching? The data has been stagnant, causing the author to panic. If anyone is reading, please leave a comment in the comment section, even if it's just a one, to give the author the motivation to update. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 8. Lawyer Luo, I'll open one that's all inflatable. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Luo Feng's words. Directly let the fans in the live broadcast room who were fearless and even mocking Luo Feng. Immediately became fearful. As male compatriots. They may or may not know what craft is, what small movies are, 
and what browsing history means. They are not only clear. Even many people have just returned from rushing. I haven't even had time to wash my hands yet. Although Luo Fong only briefly listed the crimes. But it fell into the ears of the male compatriots in the live broadcast room, but it was like looking in a mirror. As a man, who doesn't have a small website on their phone yet. As a man, who hasn't read hundreds or even thousands of movies yet. A large number of netizens in the live broadcast room suddenly panicked. Lawyer Luo, look at what you're saying. I was just joking with you, so why don't you bring up some evidence for me? Lawyer Luo, don't take it too seriously. I was just having fun with you. I don't know what you're doing, do I? We don't need to take it seriously. No. What are you panicking about? What's the meaning of Lawyer Luo's small website and craft work? No sisters can give me an answer. Upstairs, don't inquire about social affairs. Fortunately, it's okay. I usually use software to watch, and the browsing history is very clean. Wow. Are you playing so advanced now, buddy? Let's share the software. Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room immediately agreed. Luo Fong just smiled and didn't continue speaking. After all he was originally just trying to scare these people. The popularity of the live broadcast room is about to exceed 10,000. If you really want Luo Fong to hold them accountable one by one, it's completely unrealistic. I just want to warn everyone that the law needs to be respected. Don't think that the crime is far away from you it's possible. You're committing a crime, it's just that you don't even know it yourself. Only then did Luo Fong finally come back to his previous Wulong words. The farce has come to an end, let's continue with the Maipu FA. The joke is over. Luo Fong clicked the connect button. Soon, another lucky audience member was invited into the live broadcast room. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Lawyer Luo actually fell in love with me. I'm doing great. I'm on TV. Mom, did you see it? Mom, are you looking? The microphone has just been connected. But suddenly a pig-like howl erupted in the live broadcast room. It was this male fan who went to the microphone who exploded. It is not difficult to see that his emotions are quite excited now. Compared to the previous male fan who went to the microphone, the reaction was much more intense. This fan, please calm down first. Luo Fong was a bit hesitant. He remembers before he started broadcasting. Not many people on the market know me at all. This has just started broadcasting for about an hour. I have gained so many fans for no reason. And. Judging from the level of excitement of this fan. Still a brainless fan. Luo Fong had a big doubt at this time. This fan, does he play Ginchen Impact? Of course, doubt belongs to doubt. Luo Fong naturally couldn't have asked such impolite questions. Sorry lawyer Luo, I'm too excited to see you. This fan howled for almost a minute. The emotions slowly calmed down. Let me introduce myself first. Luo Fong smiled and said. Hello lawyer Luo, hello everyone in the live broadcast room. My name is Xiao Zhu, I'm 28 years old this year. I'm glad to be able to connect with lawyer Luo. The fans were very polite and gave a brief self-introduction. Hello Mr. Pig, may I ask if there is anything I can help you with? Luo Fong didn't hesitate and immediately inquired. It's like this, lawyer Luo. I recently came up with a great idea for doing business. I just want to open a store, but this idea may be a bit against the rules. I would like to ask lawyer Luo for your reference. The little pig said word by word. Strangely enough, when little pig said this, he was very serious throughout. From his tone, Luo Fong didn't actually hear any teasing. Does this kid really want to open a shop? Luo Fong always feels like this kid has bad water in his stomach. Excuse me, Mr. Pig, 
what kind of store do you want to open? Asked tentatively without hesitation, the little pig spoke up and said, Selling in shop. What? 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 As soon as little pig said this. The live broadcast room exploded directly. Good guy, I'm really good. Come to the lawyer's live broadcast room and inquire about how to open a sex shop. This kid is really a criminal. He's even more criminal than the two who came here. I'm Nima. I've been shocked for a whole year. Is it so blatant to open a sex shop now? Just come to the lawyer's live broadcast room for consultation. No wonder this young man said his idea was a bit against the rules, isn't it? Not only against the rules, but also against them. Nyobi, are they here to consult and open a store? They are here to deliver business to lawyer Luo, dot. The audience in the live broadcast room was greatly shocked. The idea of opening a in store can be so calm and composed. In a lawyer's live broadcast room, he still brought it up in front of over 10,000 viewers. Don't be too outrageous. Not only the audience was shocked. Luo Fong was also somewhat shocked at this moment. He thought that the shop in Little Pig's mouth might not be very serious. But he never thought that it could be so outrageous. Is it necessary to hire a legal advisor to open a in store now? How old is selling in considered illegal? What is the process required to open a in store? Luo Fong only felt his mind buzzing with melon seeds. What are you thinking in your mind while watching your own live broadcast promoting legal education? Let's have someone who eats giant pandas first, he can still accept it. Another person went to England to steal cultural relics, and he also endured it. Kenema, the person who opened the Ean store came knocking on his door, and Luo Fong couldn't hold his breath anymore. Mr. Pig, if you're joking, I suggest you don't make such vulgar jokes. If you are serious, I advise you to give up this idea as soon as possible. According to the legal requirements of our country, if an organization engages in illegal activities such as selling in or profiting from selling in, and the circumstances are serious, they shall be sentenced to fixed-term imprisonment of not less than five years but not more than ten years. Luo Fong directly listed the consequences of being caught selling a shady shop. I hope this can dispel Mr. Pig's plan. Upon hearing this, Mr. Pig was stunned for a moment. Then he suddenly laughed and said, Lawyer Luo, you misunderstood. The store I'm talking about is not the kind of in dens that are all chicken. How could I possibly do such illegal and criminal things? The reason why I say I have an idea is to open a reasonable and legal sex shop. What? As soon as Little Pig said this. The audience in the live broadcast room was confused again. Reasonable and legal selling of in dens. You're messing with me. What's selling in dens? It's reasonable and legal. Even if you don't provide services and only provide small movies, and customers go in and fight for it themselves, you will still be convicted of spreading obscene content. Luo Fong also had some misunderstandings. But he didn't directly kill the pig's idea with a stick. But he asked, May I ask? What is your reasonable and legal idea? The little pig paused for a moment. It seems to be organizing language. After a moment, he slowly felt a little embarrassed and said, I'm not afraid to be laughed at by lawyer Luo. The idea I came up with. Is it possible to put inflatable dolls in all of my in shops, let them replace chickens to receive customers, and then I can make money? Luo phone. Dot. Audience in the live broadcast room. Dot. Seeking data. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 9 Nima. Today at this shady shop, you. You are listening at novel full dot audio. Waznama. This young man is simply born. In what mental state did he come up with this idea? 
No, no, this guy wouldn't really want to open a sex shop with inflatable dolls serving as waiters, right? Isn't this Nima scamming money? He hasn't committed the crime of selling Yin either, I don't know, but I'm sure he must have committed fraud. So what? I have a friend who wants to ask, where is Mr. Pig's shop located? Wow. What are you doing, the silly chun? Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room was thunderous. They thought it was quite outrageous to consult a lawyer to open a shady shop. But what makes them dare not even think? This kid. Actually wants to open a sex shop where inflatable dolls serve as waiters. It's just incredible. It's like a little cow riding a plane. It's amazing. Luofong also felt a bit unbelievable. He really doesn't know what level the brain circuit of this little pig netizen is. Only then can we come up with such an explosive idea. He thinks that if these three people in Lianmai today. If it weren't for coming up to consult on legal issues. But he came up to invite Luofong to defend. So these three cases. It can definitely rank as one, two, or three of the top ten bizarre cases in the Dragon Kingdom. First of all, I suggest Mr. Pig that you don't have the idea of running such a store. Because regardless of the content of your business, your starting point is illegal. Luo Fong sighed. Faced with such consultation, he felt a bit headache. But since someone has come up to ask, he can only choose to answer. Let's analyze this case now. First of all, to understand whether your idea belongs to a legal business, we need to first clarify it. What is the crime of selling yin? Simply put, any insert sexual activity involving monetary transactions is considered as selling yin. I won't explain this insert sexual activity much, and everyone should understand. Then let's take this case into consideration. First, let's take a look. Have you, Mr. Pig, committed the crime of gathering and selling yin in this case? Luo Fong suddenly paused at this point. Provided time for the audience in the live broadcast room to think and answer. After all, this is a live broadcast. Analyzing a case is one thing. Interacting with the audience is also quite important. According to lawyer Luo's characterization of the crime of selling yin, this transaction does not involve any individuals at all, so it should not be considered illegal. I don't think it's right. Although it doesn't involve people, Lawyer Luo also said that the characterization of the crime of selling yin involves monetary transactions and insert sexual behavior. Although the object is not a person, it also involves monetary transactions, but it also belongs to sexual behavior. I lost it, this is so brain-burning. Lawyer Luo, don't ask me anymore. I just want to listen to popular science, I just want to eat melon, I don't want to use my brain. I have a question. What does insert? Sexual behavior mean? The meaning of mating. Ha ha ha. The mating upstairs is really hilarious to me. Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room were discussing and had their own opinions. Faced with Luo Feng's question, the little pig involved thought for a moment. Answer. Lawyer Luo, I don't think this should violate the crime of selling yin, after all. There are no people, how can it be considered as selling yin? Luo Fong nodded and said, your answer is correct. Although your transaction involves money and sexual activity, it does not involve people. Sexual activity that does not involve male-female relationships is not considered as selling yin. But you are not innocent either, because you spread obscene materials, which is a crime. And... Using obscene materials for profit is even more heinous. Leaving aside everything else, let's just talk about the charges of spreading and profiting from obscene materials, which is enough for you to step on the sewing machine for several years. So, Mr. Pig, I have repeatedly warned you. Don't think about taking advantage of legal loopholes. If you want to start a business, start it seriously and don't engage in these crooked ways. Luo Fong repeatedly warned the little pig that this behavior is very dangerous. After all as a lawyer, Luo Feng's sense of justice is definitely full. 
he couldn't have watched helplessly as the little pig violated the red line of the law. Even if it is impossible to personally intervene. But as for the verbal skills that can be achieved, by phone never forgets a word. I understand, so doing so is also illegal. Lawyer Luo, actually I don't have the idea of opening such a sex shop. I just thought this idea was fun, so I came up to consult. Lawyer Luo, don't worry, I definitely won't do anything illegal or criminal. The little pig explained. That's good. Luo Foam let out a sigh. Without such thoughts, it would naturally be the best. After all little pig is also a fan of Luo Foam. He naturally does not want to see his fans embark on the path of illegal and criminal activities. Lawyer Luo, I have one more question. The little pig then asked. It's okay, just ask casually. After finishing speaking, Luo Fong suddenly added, just don't be too outrageous. Lawyer Luo, I would like to ask. The little pig left ink stains for several seconds before stuttering and asking, if I open a in store and don't use plug.in services, using methods other than plug.in services, is this considered illegal? What? 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 As soon as Little Pig said this, the audience in the live broadcast room and Luo Fong were clearly stunned for several seconds. And then the audience in the live broadcast room reacted first. More than 10,000 viewers online, the collective is numb. This other way, even if Little Pig didn't explicitly state it. But everyone is an adult, so naturally everyone knows what's going on, when he said he was providing services to customers in other ways, my cerebellum shrunk a bit. No, Mr. Pig, you have to open this shady shop today, right? I Nima, this kid is so weird. Why is his mind full of selling in? Lawyer Luo. Having such fans is really my misfortune. Dot. Luo Fong is also speechless. You're not old enough to hear voices, kid. At a young age, it's not good to do something or pursue a career. We have to open a in store, right? It's using inflatable dolls instead of services, and there are other ways. Do you have this brain hole, isn't it good to write an online novel? P.S. 9 shifts on the first day, seeking data. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. Chapter 10, isn't it? Lawyer Luo wants to. You are listening at novel full dot audio. But the heart is tired. Luo Fong did not experience any emotional fluctuations. At least he is a full dot time lawyer. If you don't even have this mentality. What kind of lawyer is he? Mr. Pig, I just reminded you not to think about drilling legal loopholes. Faced with Xiao Zhu's outrageous question, Luo Fong said calmly, although your idea does not violate the, insert, sexual behavior involved in the crime of selling in. But. When we judge whether a case is illegal, we not only need to look at its outcome, but also judge based on its starting point. Your idea, no matter how you provide the service, ultimately, your goal is to sell in. I just mentioned that any obscene behavior involving money transactions between men and women is considered as selling in. It's just a matter of severity, but it must be illegal. Luo Fong explained very clearly. In short, it's just one sentence. As long as you open a sex shop and provide obscene services, it is illegal and criminal. So, after listening to Luo Feng's analysis, Xiao Zhu's tone was clearly a bit disappointed. That is to say, as long as you open a in store, it is illegal, right? In theory, it's like this, Luo Feng nodded and said. Lawyer Luo, then. The little pig still didn't give up and said, do you think selling in can be done reasonably and legally? Lawyer Luo, don't misunderstand me. I'm just curious and not really going to do it. As soon as Little Pig said this, the audience in the live broadcast room began to contemplate. No. 
I quickly opened a Ean store, and the initial investment was not small, right? With this money. Isn't it good to invest and start a business? Why must I open a Ean store? Comrade Xiaozhu seems to have a strange stubbornness towards opening a Ean shop. Anyway, it's impossible to be reasonable and legal to open a Ean store. After all, as lawyer Luo said, no matter how you design the service, the starting point is to sell in. I think so too. Opening a shady shop is already illegal. No matter how cleverly you design it, it's impossible to take advantage of it. Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room were discussing extensively. Everyone thinks that opening a in store is such a thing. Anyway, it is impossible to be reasonable and legal. The water users in the live broadcast room were very right. Luo Feng said with a serious expression, the act of opening a shady shop is illegal from the starting point. Even if I can give you some advice to enable him to operate in a reasonable and compliant manner, your behavior is problematic. Lawyer Luo, do you have a solution? As soon as Luo Feng said this, the little pig only felt a glimmer in front of him. Luo Feng's words were patiently dissuaded. In the end, what fell into the little pig's ear was only one sentence. I'll give you an idea for him to operate in a reasonable and compliant manner. After just Luo Feng's popularization, he was originally going to give up on this matter. As a result, when Luo Feng uttered these words, he felt hopeful again. Um. Luo Feng also realized that he seemed to have slipped the tongue. But at this point, he has nothing to hide, I do have a way to ensure that he operates in a reasonable and compliant manner. But if the local public security or judicial department discovers the existence of your shady shop, it will be immediately sealed off. After all, our country has zero tolerance for the crackdown on selling in. Although you don't have to take responsibility, as long as it is investigated, your store cannot continue to operate, no matter what means you use. Luo Feng said this. Not only did it not make the little pig give up. On the contrary, it made the little pig even more excited. Even the netizens in the live broadcast room. They were all immediately aroused with interest. I lost it. Isn't that right? According to lawyer Luo, does he really have the means to manage a in shop reasonably? The operation is reasonable, but if it is discovered, it will lead to arrest. I didn't understand what it means. Can you explain it to me? Why can't I understand? Simply put, your profit dot making methods are legal, but the nature of your store is illegal. After being discovered, your store will be shut down, but your legal responsibility will not be pursued, nor will your profit funds be confiscated. Damn it! It means that as long as it's not discovered, you can always make a profit. Even if it's discovered, it's just a matter of closing the door. Isn't that right? Lawyer Luo, is it time to start popularizing knowledge about criminals again? Watch Lawyer Luo's live broadcast, One Little Knowledge of Being Imprisoned Every Day. Dot. The audience in the live broadcast room rushed to urge. Luo Feng originally did not want to popularize knowledge about these loopholes. But there's no way. Can't resist the enthusiasm of netizens in the live broadcast room. Surprisingly, everyone wants to hear so much. Let me give you a case study for science popularization. Luo Feng couldn't tell it directly in plain language. That would really be inducing crime. So Luo Feng cleverly used the form of a case to tell this story. I have a friend named Zhang San. A year ago, he opened a in shop. Unfortunately, his in shop was discovered by the public security agency a while ago. In theory, if the public security bureau discovers this kind of shady behavior, it must be arrested. However, strangely enough, after a series of investigations, in the end, the public security bureau only sealed off Zhang San's shop, criticized and educated him, but did not pursue Zhang San's legal responsibility. I would like to ask everyone present, can anyone guess why this is happening? Or more precisely, 
can you guess how Zhang San exploited this loophole in the law? Facing Luo Feng's question. The audience in the live broadcast room naturally couldn't answer. After all, in their cognition. The act of opening a shady shop is considered illegal and criminal. If this is discovered, it will definitely be arrested. How could it be possible to criticize education and seal down shops without pursuing legal responsibility? Lawyer Luo, please don't be too concerned. The little pig is really anxious. He really wants to know what this means is. I know everyone is in a hurry, but don't worry for now. Luo Feng smiled and said, Before that, I would like to reiterate that all illegal profit.making activities are unacceptable. You may have taken a loophole this time, but there will always be a time when you will be arrested. This case is purely fictional and should not be imitated. Seeking data. Qingming outing and happy reading. Charge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity period. April 4th to April 6th. 